everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be testing the Nudes Matte Eyeshadow Palette from Primark. And I have been looking on Kim Kardashian's website, which is KK Beauty, and she has basically released um, some nude skin coloured kind of packaging with um, some make I made a new makeup range. And I don't know much about the Kardashians or anything like that, but I do know that I looked on the website and I couldn't find any of Kim Kardashian KK Beauty eyeshadow palettes. I had a Kylie palette, which was obviously how this is set out which it has the three um the nine eyeshadow palettes in like a square format with the three eyeshadows per row and the closest i could find to what this looked like was was the bronze palette which i'll put up here and it has basically the same thing it's, uh, it's basically three rows of eyeshadows with nine eyeshadows in the palette so today this is what we're going to be testing out um primark has basically released a fake kk beauty makeup range they have contour sticks they have contour highlight palettes which i was going to buy but the dollar is very low at the moment so I just selected this one and they also have a bigger palette but I thought for four pounds I'm just going to try out this one and see how it goes it might be good it might be bad and if it's good then I might test out some more of this stuff so my lighting has just gone really bright <laughs> um, I'm using natural lighting today so it's all going to be a bit cray cray with the lighting situation but let's get started with the video it's pretty skanky I'm not going to lie to you it wasn't in the best condition but it is wrapped up so it's fine nothing nobody's been prodding their fingers in it hopefully not anyway today I have already got on my base foundation I have some powder as well and I've done my eyebrows I look very pale because of the lighting I am honestly looking quite healthy at the moment but I do look very pale because of the lighting so I'm going to try and adjust that in post-production in the video editing section but if not then I'm sorry if it is the lighting is a little bit off let's get into the eyeshadow palette so let's take this plastic off Okay, so with Primark, you can you never know what you're going to get in their makeup section. You don't know if someone's been prodding their fingers in it or whatever. But they had so many nice things. I was tempted to get the highlighting and contour palette, but as I said, if this is really good, then I may just splurge and get that as well. So, oh, that's great. It doesn't have any numbers or names for the shadows, so we'll just have to get. We can make up names. This one's Snowman. <laughs> This one is um, nude, <laughs> I don't know. But basically the colours are white, like a nudie shade, a kind of silvery, like pinky shade. We also have an orangey toned nude, a dark toned nude and a brownie nude. We also have a pink, a orangey colour and a purple. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be using my Real Techniques brushes and I'm going to be applying just my normal eyeshadow routine and I'm just going to be showing you how it goes. So let's zoom you in and let's get started. All right, let's go. So close up, so much edge. <laughs> This lighting is really nice though, actually I'm quite happy with it. This white shade here, there is also a glittery shade which I might apply on top. So we have the white shade which we're going to be applying first with my blending eyeshadow brush from Nenshi. Okay, the colour payoff isn't that great but white shades don't normally pay off that great anyway so I'm going to be using my finger. I am quite satisfied. And now I'm going to be applying some of this glittery shade here which is like a champagne kind of colour underneath my eyebrow. So when I apply with a brush you really can't see it that well so I think I may just stick to my fingers for now. We're gonna go for this shade here and we're going to be applying that in the corner. Whoa that is orange. Okay so when I tap my brush off there's literally hardly any on the brush which is really irritating but it's not too bad. I'm not gonna complain this isn't too bad. For Primark I am not unhappy. Okay and then we're gonna go in with the second darkest colour which is this one here and applying that to the corners. I might try and contour with these colours actually because it We'll see. We shall see. I'm gonna blend that in with my base shadow brush. I wanna try maybe a little bit of pink in there. So that obviously you can probably do a pink and purple look, but I'm, I'm just going for like the nude look. So I'm gonna be going in with a little bit of pink I think and try that. We're gonna we're gonna try it. I'm not very good with eyeshadow colours really. I just kind of wing it. This might just add a little bit of warmth to it actually. Yeah, that looks so much better. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it does look a little bit better. Just adds a little bit of warmth to that orange. Oh yeah, it looks quite nice. It looks a bit like a sunset, <laughs> in my opinion. Um I'm not gonna go in with the purple. I might add a little bit of purple underneath my eye, but for now we're just gonna stick with the nudie shades. Okay, so the next color I'm going to be using is the darkest color in the palette, which is this brown. Look at all that fallout, can you see that? It's just so much around the eyeshadows, but 
It ain't too bad. Okay, I may have to invest in some more of these products because I am very, very happy with this. I really, really like it. I don't think it looks too shabby. I'm gonna add a little bit more of that glittery color on top. Apply some of this dark brown, it's dark brown underneath my eyelash line because my eyes are very small. Um, I don't really do that normally, but we're gonna see how that goes. There's a lot of fallout. It's gonna try and add some contour to my cheekbones. So I'm gonna be using, uh, what shade shall I use? Let's try this shade, which is the middle one, which is this brown here. This is probably not a good idea, but we're gonna give it a go anyway. So without blending it, I use the darker brown on this side and the lighter brown on this side. As you can tell, this is more orangey, this is more brown, but we're just going to see if this blends in so I don't have too much of a line. We give it a go and we're trying our best. <laughs> Next we are highlighting. We are going to be using the setting brush with this colour here, which is this shadow, which is this colour I have on my middle of my eyes here that's giving that sheen. I think it's coming off. Okay, cool. Great. I'm gonna really try and rub it in there. Rub it in there. That's better. Hello. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Bit on my nose, bit on my lip, bit up here. Yes. Oh, shook. So I'm now going to be adding some eyeliner, putting some lashes on, and I will be right back. Stila Waterproof Stay All Day Liquid Eyeliner. Then I'm going to be using my Better Than Sex Mascara and these I Love Volume Lightweight Eyelashes. For my lips, I used the Rimmel London Kate Moss Lipstick in 03. Then on top of that, I added the NYX Butter Gloss in Angel Food Cake. That's it, and this is a finished look, and I really hope you guys enjoy this video. And I am overall very shook about this eyeshadow palette. I am very pleased. It has turned out really well. I'm not sure how bright it really is and for the price you can't really complain it's like four pounds and these eyelashes i'm really not used to they're so thick i mean they probably don't look thick on camera i can't really tell unless i look at this video on my laptop but these lashes are absolutely freaking huge but they look really good so <laughs> but yeah so i really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a big thumbs up don't forget to comment down below and if you'd like me to try any more of primark's nude collection then let me know and subscribe if you would like to press the bell press the subscribe button and i'll see you all in my next video bye guys